Hello and welcome to our live stream. And I'm going to answer a very interesting question this week. The question that I received was, why do we lie? Actually, no, it was correction. Why do I lie and how can I stop lying? So this question is a very interesting question and it can be answered from many different perspectives. The first perspective could be a scientific one, that how scientists tell us which part of the brain works or doesn't work when we tell the truth and analyze it from that point of view. Then the, the therapist and psychologist can look at it from psychological aspect, how and why we lie. It's probably because we didn't receive this and that and we learned this and that behavior and we wanted to be liked and we wanted to fit in and we wanted to be loved and I'm going to leave that to the experts to do that I'm not a therapist and I'm not a scientist but the way I look at any of these issues is from a deeper energetic if you like spiritual point of view so the pattern that I've seen in my clients and and in myself usually if there's a pattern to the lie meaning if we are lying in a very uh, regular pattern, it's very important that we pay attention to that pattern because there's a lot of information there. What we are lying about day in, day out is probably has got to do with our deepest desires. And I have seen that in many of my clients. I remember one particular client that I had that he was always telling me about how his charitable deeds are like this and he was involved in that and, and he was contributing and he was helping. And I was very happy to hear that. And later on, I found out that not all of them were accurate. And I brought it up to him because I saw it as a very deep spiritual yearning, a yearning that told me that he is interested, he wants to be fed by this kind of behavior, which obviously he wasn't giving himself. So that's a very obvious one, and there are many layers, and not every uh, lying pattern is that simple. You just look at it and that's it, and you get there. I don't want to oversimplify it, but I want to really take another point home that we need to pay attention to our lies because they hold a lot of information about the deeper aspect of us. And when we see that, for instance, I, I remember that um, another client that uh, was always talking about how uh, liked and loved and popular and, and friendly and um, uh, what is the right word, kind and compassionate she was, which was another interesting pattern. So when we unfolded it, and it was a very difficult unfolding, I have to say, we realized that that's how she would like to be, but she actually acts and behaves completely opposite of that when she's with her friends or social settings or, or, or in her main relationships. So. When we see that, it helps us to see what we really want, how we really want to be. And I think that's very important. The next question was, how do we stop lying? So in my point of view, once we unfold the reason and the yearning behind our lying, especially if it's a pattern that gets repeated, then it's important for us to attend to that unmet need, that obviously there's a need there that is not being met. So if I'm telling you how liked I am, how loved I am, how kind I am, and I'm not being that, there is that unmet need there. And once I attend to it, by attending, I don't mean go and grab people and get them to love you and like you. No, attending means that feed it in one way or another. And it could be many, many ways that we can feed ourselves and feed these needs. So once we feed that, one, once we attend to that, so one is identification of it, two is attentiveness to it, and then three is to really seeing if there's a healthy way of working with that. And if this is, you know, telling 
you something that you haven't done or you haven't attended to at an even deeper level. So because these attentiveness and this recognition of need has many, many layers. Uh, it could be at physical level, it could be at psychological and mental level, it could be at emotional level, or it could be even deeper than that at a spiritual level. They are somehow interconnected, however, they may show up in one area more than the other. So, to summarize what I said was I look at lying and the pattern of lying from an energetic and deeper point of view. And then identifying the information, the message that this lying or pattern of lying is telling us and identifying the need, the yearning, whatever it is that's the question mark there and then attending to that and then observing if it has been resolved or it needs more attention and we need to go deeper with that. That is how we work with our lying and what is very much needed and it's an important ingredient in this resolution if you like of a pattern of lying is a lot of presence awareness compassion and curiosity we don't do this by catching ourselves this is not a you know catching a criminal in the midst of their act this is actually attending to something a need that has been obviously unmet uh, there's a PS for that. That kindness, that awareness, that presence, that curiosity needs to be done by the person themselves. I can't do that for anybody. So I can't be always understanding and loving and, and curious about a behavior of a loved one and do it for them. It is their job to do that because if I'm too understanding and too loving and too curious, I may continue allowing that behavior to go on and the person themselves may be not really taking responsibility for it or attending to it. I said that because I had some um, point of reference where people saying, okay, so there's a yearning that is unmet, let me just, just be understanding forever, and the person never ever resolved their own issue. Uh, we always need to be compassionate, we always need to be understanding, but also there's a responsibility of the person who is really um, behaving this way that uh, will never be um, deleted from the to-do list of their to-do list just because I have an understanding and compassion for them. So as you can see everything we do and everything we don't do there's a deeper reason for it and once we learn to go deeper once we learn to be really uh, in a very compassionate way curious about them they hold a lot of information and can gift us with a lot of information. So that's it for this week. Please keep your questions coming. I love answering them and, and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Until then, be well and stay curious.